back with another video. We are back with yet another food review video. Diasha is here and we are still in Nashville, Tennessee. And today we are going to try Willie B's. So let's hop right into the video. Oh, that gotta get patted down. <laughs> that gotta get patted down. Yeah. get into the review portion of this video so when i when i knew i was going to um nashville i was like i gotta go to willoughby's i gotta go to willoughby's i gotta go to willoughby willoughby's if you guys haven't noticed or haven't seen the real current thing brunch has been my new little obsession i've been going to brunch every chance i get because i just love the vibe of brunch I do have a confession. I'm not always the biggest fan of brunch food because breakfast isn't my favorite meal of the day. I prefer like lunch and dinner. Just That's just a personal preference. But I do love the vibes of brunch, if you guys didn't know. I'm only 25 years old and the pandemic took a lot of my time for me. So I've been regaining it back and going to these lounges and just having me a good time. And with like, with brunch, I've been going to like lounges and um, restaurants of that sort, of that sort, because like I don't want like a full club vibe, but I do want to have good music, I do want to have good food, and I just want a good vibe. And when I saw Willie B's, I was like, this looks like this is gonna deliver. So um, we went to Willie B's on Easter Sunday. <laughs> we went to Willie B's on Easter Sunday after. We washed our word and we did all our, all our, cause we, Alex doesn't have a church in Nashville just yet. If you know of any, comment down below. Maybe she's looking for a new church home. I'm not 100% sure, but um, she doesn't have a church home. So we just watched um, some, oh, a pastor on TV. And then after that, well, we watched it while we was getting ready for brunch. After that, we decided to grab some food at Willie B's and have a vibe and turn up. <laughs> but we were also a little skeptical that people weren't gonna be there because it was Easter Sunday. And you know, that's just usually not the vibes. 
So we went there and um, I did make a reservation. I think I spent $21 for two people. I booked it online and we were supposed to get that, um, that reservation taken off our tab, but I forgot to tell my waiter at the end of my um, service. So I paid gratuity, I paid for the reservation, and I paid for my food, so yeah. I tried to get a refund from Willie B's. I sent them an email and I followed up on the email. They were responding at one point. They haven't responded yet. So Willie B's, if you see this, respond to my email. I'm just trying to get my $20 back. That's it. That's it. Y'all yeah, let me know in my trip. Should I be trying to get a $20? Okay, well, let, let me lay it down for y'all. So, we went there for brunch, me and Alex, of course. We went on Easter Sunday, we made reservations, and we got the, um, we got the Naughty Island, which was a, um, a drink. I just let Alex order whatever she wanted to order. It was like this fishbowl drink and it came out with dry ice and it like, it wowed the whole people. Everybody was like, oh my God, what's that, what's that, what's that? It was a really pretty drink. It did taste good. Y'all know I'm not really big on it. I'll try it here and there. Alex picked it out. She said it was gonna be good and it was tasty. And the wow factor was a little like, yo, show it. <laughs> Everybody was like, what's that, what's that, what's that? And Alex is like, it's right here on the menu. I didn't even know what was going on. I'm just like, okay, Alex. Then let me know what I need to pay and daddy be dead on that. So we got the not, Naughty Island drink. You guys will see it was very pretty and it was very aesthetically pleasing and I love things like that. So they passed the vibe check on that. And then I got basket Ojo wings, which was $17, which was just some fried chicken wings and I got my sauce on the side and I also got some french fries to go with that. And um, we were charged 18% gratuity and then 2% service charge. So, not only did I pay a $20 deposit to get in, I pay a 18 cent gratuity and I pay a service charge. So I just felt like I was just paying, so essentially I paid like $100 for brunch. Y'all let me know am I tripping. Comment down below, let me know. Cause if y'all say let it go and just let the $20 be, I'll let it be. If y'all tell me to keep emailing, I'll keep emailing. Cause each, either way, I'm gonna survive, honestly. Cause if they give it to me, they give it to me. If they don't, they don't. <laughs> they don't, like that's just where I am with it. I won't die without the $20. I've been living without the $20 for months at this point. Cause I told y'all that was Easter Sunday. Y'all ain't seen this until July. So, Y'all got time to comment down below and let me know how to work this thing. But anyway, let's get into the review. So, the vibe, 10 out of 10, immaculate. They had all, and I told you guys, a lot of the black owned restaurants are over near TSU, and there was a lot of TSU students in there. Some way, somehow, we end up in the middle of a stroll off, like all the Delta, the AKAs, the Q Dogs, and all, everybody was there. Everybody was there representing, and I'm like, on Easter Sunday? We're doing all this on Easter Sunday. The DJ was really good. He was playing the boss. I told you guys, I do like the Floridian in me. Like, it's like the Florida vibe, but they had a good vibe as well. Well, they had the HBCU vibes, and that passes the vibe check for me as well. So. So let's hop into the review portion. So for the um, the chicken wings, they were just average chicken wings. I wouldn't say it was anything crazy. Alex ordered chicken and waffles. I did wait until the, um, the dinner menu came out because like I told you guys, I'm not really a huge fan of brunch. And they just had like the average brunch where it was like chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits. And I wasn't really feeling all of that. I just wanted me some fried chicken and some french fries and I had to wait until dinner to do so. The waiter didn't mind letting me wait. So I waited until the dinner menu, until I think we had to wait till like three or four o'clock for it to um, switch over. So I ordered that and it came out very fast. And I got a side of um, hot sauce that it was supposed to go on my wings. And then I had ketchup and it was just okay. Like it was like club food, if that makes sense. It wasn't like anything to die for, but 
the vibe was really good so I see why it's like really popping and I see why it is like a very popular place not only for tourists but like the um, TSU students as well um TSU don't owe me nothing now I know against my HBCU which is Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University but I'll just say TSU treated me very well during my stay in Tennessee okay they were they had the vibes like it seemed like every time we just kept ending up around um, TSU students and one of the um one of the guys in there actually he was like you go to TSU I was like no I graduated first of all and second of all I went to Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University and he just burst out laughing I was like yeah <laughs> I said what I said. Like I'm not, I'm never gonna go against my school. They say FAMU is like a cult, and they probably right. But what that university has done for me, I am forever grateful. So yeah, I'm all the way in Tennessee, repping my HBCU in the months of everybody uh, chilling at their HBCU. So yeah, that's the vibe I was on. And um, Alex went to FAMU as well. We went there together. We went to the same high school, and we went to the same and we're still friends so Willie B's was definitely a vibe if I went back I would definitely go there but you have to be in the mood for it I saw someone comment on um one of my videos of bronze kingdom if you guys haven't watched it make sure you watch it which was another brunch spot and she said let me see if I can find it because it, it, it made me laugh so hard because I was like she has a valid point and sometimes I'm not in the mood for it so let me go to it. She said that looks really good. The food looks delicious but I'm wondering if that's the vibe all the time because I don't know if I really want a bunch of folks dancing all around me while I'm trying to enjoy my fishing grits lol but it looks beautiful and it, like if you I know that there's some people aren't always in the mood for that which I'm not always in the mood for it like it's a give and take i'm not 100 sure if that restaurant has like a chill day i'm not sure what the chill day is for willie b's but what i will say is if you're you're not in the mood for people to be twerking and dancing and having a good time around your food i wouldn't suggest going to brunch on a sunday because that is the new day and that's usually what's gonna happen and if you also see like like day party vibes that's not the place to go if you're not in the mood for that either so that was just my little tidbit like some people just aren't in the mood for it and that's okay like everybody that's not everybody jam and we don't judge you for it if that's not what you're in the mood for that's not what you're in the mood for so for overall i would give willie b's a seven out of ten the food was just okay but the vibe was immaculate so with all that being said that's going to be the end of this video Thank you guys for watching and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.